Welcome back to another episode of The State of the Strong, a podcast brought to you by Bullbrand and the most handsome man in uh, Johannesburg. Not South Africa, just just Johannesburg. My name is Sivum Panza, but I'm not here alone. I'm here with the amazing Lirai. Oh my God, <laughs> you always crack me up. <laughs> Love you though. How are you doing? Sibum? I'm good. It feels good to be back. Um, and uh, today's guest makes me even more excited to be back today. Can I please tell you, I'm so nervous to look at this chair that I have in. I feel like, you know what, mm-hmm. I need to move like this mm-hmm. and just like give her her give space. Because sure, that sure, is sure. just, ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by royalty. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is royalty. I grew up watching her. My mother grew up watching her. She is. She has broken boundaries. She has been a pioneer. She has set the standard. And she has even exceeded the standard. You know her. I know her. Mom, Konichin, how are you? Shume. Shume. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Guys, my words are... <laughs> are you well? I'm fantastic. Mm. Mm. Well, today we want to chat to you, but get to know Mum Connie. Mm. We, we've we heard about the work that you've done, but mm-hmm. we want to get to know you and get to, you know, dig into your brain and understand your life a little bit. But um, before yeah. we get into that, we're doing a, a quick fire round, a competition. All right. This mm-hmm. is where it gets serious. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so we're playing State of the Strong. You guys already know how it is. I have opened the all-knowing jar that has our prompts. You have got prompts on pieces of paper. The goal is to get as many in 60 seconds. Okay, ready. Simple. Okay. Let's, Are you ready? Let's get it ready. I have to. Okay. <laughs> okay. I cannot try it. So I get five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Love is beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> Instagram is grand. <laughs> Load shading is nonsense. <laughs> Marriage is good. Ooh, I'm a piano ayashisa. Solar power ish. I don't have choice. Um, black Twitter is. Um, dreams are good. The future looks great. Time is timeless. Thirty seconds. Um, entrepreneurship is good. Just who are so scan. South Africa ya 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 rocker. Nice. Unemployment is not good. Mm-hmm. Escom, oh shame. Fifteen seconds. iPhone, I love. Mm-hmm. Uh, family is fantastic. <laughs> uh, YouTube, oh, hey, even at, hey, must can do one casa. Ha, aka rest in peace. Three seconds. Um, the youth are with it. Music is soothing. It's good. Time. Uh, okay. You can go for that last one. What's it? Life, life is excellent. Life is excellent. That is a perfect way for us to start. Life is excellent. Okay. <laughs> I was the one playing the <laughs> <weird. laughs> Okay. Let's Should we do count. a quick count? Okay, go for it. One, mm-hmm. two, three, four, right? Mm-hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm-hmm. I already counted that one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. Wow. Sure. 19, 20. 21, 22, 23. 23. Can we need it? I don't have the numbers <laughs> on hand, right? But I think that that's definitely top two, if Can not I number one. something uh-huh. about her. Yes. She's so legendary. She even got the Michael Jordan number. Yeah, right, like, 23. Do you understand her? That is incredible. <laughs> that is the most. What did we say life is? What is that last one again? Did I say great? I don't remember. You said something. <laughs> oh, and now it just it just left me. It was life. Life is great. Life was good. Something that uh, I think we can all agree that it seems from the career that you've had that it would be nothing else but that. Life is good. Uh-huh. Of course, it has challenges. Yes. yes, we are not on a bed of roses. Mm-hmm. There are times when it's like that. Mm-hmm. There are times when it's like that. Mm-hmm. There are times when it's like that. Mm-hmm. But it's good. Mm-hmm. We have to experience all of that. Oof. That's I, that's what makes us who we are. Exactly. Can and, I please be a little bit forward, Nemam Okay. I just I've always wanted to know this. Uh-huh. How does it feel walking into a room 
and just knowing that you are her. Like you walk in and you're like, no, Kiena, <laughs> I am her. You, you know what? In, well, with me, maybe mm -hmm. some people, now with me, it's never like that. It's like I'm entering here, mm -hmm. that's it. And it's got nothing to do with anything else because everybody is important in their own way. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know your talents. I don't know your achievements. I don't know your dreams. So when I enter the room, I enter the room as Connie Chumi. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And that completely sums up who she is. And I think that it, it serves... Um, it shows how long you've been able to stay in this industry yeah. and to change, honestly, change how it looks mm -hmm. and to impact so many people's lives. You've got this humility that, like you said, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And what do we South Africans say? Mm -hmm. exactly. Even I felt that when you walked in here, they yeah. But I'm not one of those. I'm I want to take it back to 1952. Okay. Um, I want you to talk to me about your family. Uh, briefly, how you are, how you were raised, and what got you to the starting point of being in theatre mm. um, and beginning acting. Okay, I was born in Velkom in the Free State uh, that year that you just mentioned. <laughs> uh, my mother was from KZN in Adali. My father was from Malawi, and I was the fifth child. Ne? And then mm -hmm. So all in all, we were nine. Wow. So I, I was brought up in an ordinary family. My father was a policeman. When I when I was small, my mother was not working. But as we grew up, I'm sure things became difficult, sure. you know. And then she ended up as a early domestic uh, worker. But I was fortunate that they managed to take me to school. Kayako, mm -hmm. Bensonville, after I did my JC, I let's say JC, you were not... <laughs> There, <laughs> junior certificate. Mm -hmm. After junior certificate, then you did matric. Sure. So I went to Wilba, I mean, um, Benson Vale in the Eastern Cape to do my matric. When I ca came back, that's when my father, being from Malawi, he wanted to go back to his native mm -hmm. land. Mm -hmm. So he left with my mother and some of my siblings, Nakasala and others. Uh, I, I actually started connecting with it, but sure. let me go back to Velcom. Mm -hmm. Go Velcom, go high. There was a stoop, so so. Ne, come on, say. No, when I Apollo, come on, say. Is I nelang to my house. So that's why we. My family was a musical family. Oh, we used okay. to sing. Okay. Yes, we used to. Actually, I thought I was gonna be a singer. Kuguan uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we used to sing, and our neighbors would come and watch and join us. And on Fridays, because we belong to the Anglican Church, mm -hmm. and I don't know why, but we used to be told, my church has a Friday. So my mother would cook, mm -hmm. uh -huh. then our neighbors would come, and we would perform there, you know. Mm -hmm. So I got it from there. Went to, to nursing, didn't finish. Went to teaching, did the course, finished it in one year instead of two years. Mm -hmm. Then I came to Ratong, mm -hmm. Kitro teacher. What day was that? 76. Mm. When things were happening. Yeah, timing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then 76, I arrived. Mm. Like, I'm like enthusiastic. Mm. I'm a young teacher. Mm. The next thing. Ziawa. Ziawa. Yeah. So as we were sitting there one day, sitting like this, I because kids were not there. Or if they are there, one, two, three, six, like it's yeah. not. It's jump on my fence. Sure. Now. So on this particular day, somebody would clearly pump an old paper. And I saw they were auditioning. Ne? They were auditioning for a show that was going to go to Israel and Greece. Mm -hmm. So, guys, I did have my 25 cents in my bag. That's my calorie ticket to come to Lankunzi. Return. Wow. <laughs> to Johannesburg. I don't remember the address, but I know it was somewhere in Pilchard, uh, Pritchard Street. Uh, I trusted my singing. Mm. I trusted my dancing. But I was not sure. I ate tea. You sure? Oh, so when my chance came, I sang my lungs out, you know, from the lowest note yeah. to the highest mm -hmm. that I can reach. How about dancing? 
Bateng di tleva za khali za shubi. Zwa za batuwa shubi zuru wa papa zwa ngi. Bakuwa ona la pana baya zana. Hei, bakuwa. Kina kwa hile wu black power wu hey man. Hei, naki emi mwole kichere skepsa le sabatu. When my chance came, I got paraja paro za 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 uji. I was wearing my dress. I just put my dress in my pants. So you can move, yes. And I danced. I danced. I still do. Yeah. And uh, after that, I was told, ah, okay, you are in a short list, we'll come back to you. I went straight to the producer, you know, Ruben Naive sometimes what mm -hmm. I went straight to the producer, excuse me, say, I'm a teacher, so I need to know now whether one cast or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know what? I was cast on the spot. There I was to Israel and Greece. So that's where the whole thing, yeah, Yantunia Showbiz starts mm -hmm. in my life. You to, went and till today. You went and claimed it. Yes, you absolutely. And I was so bold it. about it because mm -hmm. I did, I did, like I didn't see anything wrong. That's why I can sometimes say, how naive it helps you because mm -hmm. now nah, I was just being honest. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who about the shortlist and all that. I just went to the producer and I said, excuse me, say, you know, I'm a teacher, so I need to know now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I went and I resigned. Wow. Just I'm like that. You have lived so many lives mm -hmm. before the life that we have been exposed to i mean nursing mm. you didn't finish but you were still you were in that environment yes i was and then you went to teach and obviously at the the political climate of the country at the time particularly in 1976 mm -hmm. you went through that and above everything else you said no i'm going to israel mm -hmm. Greece after that <laughs> i'm going to go pursue <laughs> essentially your third career path yeah, and but you know what you know. When you call things in the uh, more more, you call them go oh, the universe. The universe, they, yes. They do come, you mm. know, because I remember as a child, Hansa Kibina mo stage in Sakamo. Yeah. I remember I used to tell my parents, you know what, na me na ma e England, nzo fega me na England. Yeah. And I did, you know, I did. Mm. So it's true that when you dream, and you, that thing you keep saying it, you keep visualizing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. subconsciously or, or consciously ultimately it happens and wow. i didn't just go to england i yeah. went to many 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 other countries how did it feel traveling uh like what was that 80s 70s yeah it was in 1977 how did it feel traveling basically the world at that imagine point? during the days of apartheid yes, you know yes. when if you had to have a passport a white person had to apply for that passport mm -hmm. for you wow. and apartheid deposit yeah apartheid deposit of 500 i see uncle government thing yeah south africa mm -hmm. to promise the government of south africa that you are not going forever you are coming back mm -hmm. that's how it used to be wow how on earth do you even begin to comprehend that this is some place that I can go because we're in the 70s. You are literally in a political environment where you are oppressed and you are systematically mm. oppressed. The only time people go and travel is when you're going into exile. Yeah. Yes. And you're going to pursue this career, mm. a career that, in fact, you weren't seeing people that looked like you on your local television. Mm. And... It's not a career path that I, I mean, I wonder what your parents were saying when you told them that you're mm. going to go and do this thing. They were already gone to Malawi. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I was by myself. Okay, I have a sister. I had sisters who were all over South Africa. Sure. But at that time, I was the only one in Jobek. So mm. I had to choose my own path. And I remember during those days, we were not allowed to be, to be actors. Sure. Yes. They used to say, you are lazy. You know, you can't do that. And uh, somehow I don't blame them because, mm -hmm. I mean, even today the industry is still difficult. Yeah. So you can imagine those days here, how about our artists? And what you've just said now, you know, the political situation of that time. Do you know that in some places when we went, people that were in exile, mm. they actually suspected us to resell out. Oh, you're going to go. Mm, yes. Mm, 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 mm. Because how, how how did you get a passport being black? Mm, mm, mm. So because you applied the passport to yeah. So if you have a passport and you are performing in, in another country and you are not exile and they are not going to be able to come back home and away now after you perform, you are still free to come back home. So they felt, some of them felt like we are sellouts. Mm, mm. Wow. You know what I feel like that is? Gasu Hoaking to have the 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 bladder. No the audacity. <laughs> the deliver. audacity. The, 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 the liver. The liver. The liver. 
how you're you're in your I was in your early 25 20s. sure no na le sibi i have always been brave mm. you know what when my parents left uh, in 1971, I was 19. Mm. And uh, during that time, about 19, you were very young. Sure. You know, maybe at night, 19, you are grown up, you can go and stay at your own place. I don't know. But at that time, at 19, you are a child. So they, they left and, and with my siblings to go there, and I was sort of like left alone. So everything that I did, I had to do it for myself. I had to to make decisions for myself. Yeah. I did ask Naburoto, I can never wanna I I didn't have a mother. Okay Mungola Lingolo Kireki Kupabrot. Instead Bona they were writing me Kukupa Brot. Can I can I tell you something interesting about your story that I see it in my in my own life. Um I'm also of Malawian descent. My grandfather's from Malawi. Mm. My mother's maiden name is Piri. Oh um, yeah. And she also had a family of nine uh, also. Wow. He, he came down to South Africa. My grandmother um, was Zulu from Mpumalanga. And one thing that she told me is that her father, the hard work that came from him being an immigrant and coming to South Africa, it was like nothing she had ever seen before. So I wanted to ask you, do you feel like your parents' hard work is something that sort of came down to you also and that's where yes. you get it from? You know, since since I was born, since I grew up, I've never seen my father I I love feel like I'm mm. mm. or only flu or what. Mm. My father used to wake, wake up couple my five o'clock going to work. And before he goes to work, especially in winter, like, like, like welcome to Uva. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yes, you're welcome mm -hmm. to I see you welcome to <laughs> Sikele, this is where we get to learn the this state of the strong Sifundala. And the Yazina. Sifundala. How umbong in Gamoya Kula Musna, you will come to her baby. Stove some summer last. Do you tanda no more voter baby? Yeah, those are the stoves that we used to use. Then the police work as zebra. I remember the police. And my father would make fire. I beg at Lele, Yamezi. A regular butter. Like now, I'm so spoiled. Even today, in Nike Jimajiri. Yes. Butter pen. But yes. <laughs> Even now, I'm like, ah, I'm going to be so simple. I'm going to still discipline. Yeah. Yeah. That's how my father spoiled. He didn't have sure. much. Mm -hmm. But there are certain things that are spoiled in Katsuan. So, yes, he was he, he was such a, a, a hard worker. To an extent that, go welcome, he was number one. He was called number one. Mm -hmm. Number one policeman. Mm -hmm. As we speak in Velcom in Tabong, there's a street named after wow. him, wow. Chume Street. Mm -hmm. That's how that's how they are. Yeah. You know, wow. when I, not when I, we are relatives, mm -hmm. Lebo Cas <laughs> Lebo <Caspanovers>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so have you been? Can I interview? I, you no, no, no. I haven't been. My we my family's been, but I have. I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> So have, you, have you been though? Have you gone back? Times. Okay. Several okay. times. Okay. I go there all the time because I kill my siblings. Some of them are still there. Sure. Do, oh. do, one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want to know, obviously, with the influence that you had from the two parents growing up in the household of nine, now you're alone. You're in the world. You're going to Israel. You're you're traveling the world. What are the lessons that you picked up? being in a position like that, that you've now applied in your life today? You know, I, I, I learned to, to be disciplined. Mm. Uh, because when you are out there, you are in a new world, you know, you come from apartheid, you are able to eat wherever, wherever you want, you can go and dance wherever you want, the disco, you know, the disco that oh, time yes. and all of that. So you kind of learn self-discipline more than anything. You can do things, but you can do things. Because otherwise, uzo zbona u u u pelele ema paki ni if if you are not disciplined. So it's one of the things that I learned to go to, and you have to look after yourself, mm. you know, um, because isn't was paid. Go pela wen. Pela wen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of looking after yourself, I think something that a lot of people, when they see you, they see longevity. They see somebody who's been able to stay in the industry for years and years, mm. and I think that's one thing that. Whenever we're having our little conversations with our colleagues, we're always like, how are we going to keep this up, you know, yes. for the years coming? Um, earlier, even Lira spoke of it when she was talking of you pivoting from nursing to teaching to acting. There's even directing that you do. How important is that to you to keep pivoting, to keep learning new things and trying out new ways? You've already said it. Mm. You've already said it. It's keeping, it's, 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 it's being 
ready to learn, sure. you know, having um, interpersonal relationships with people. Mm -hmm. Because today you might be working with her, mm -hmm. if fellow production, but five years later, mm -hmm. you are going to find yourself working with her again. Mm -hmm. So to be able to respect people that you work with, first of all, to, res to respect the craft yes. that you have and not come to a point where you think that you have arrived. Mm -hmm. Once you have arrived, then mm -hmm. because things keep yeah. changing. Look at, the, look at the technology right now. Yeah, yeah, feeling me from that time until now. Things have changed so much. So if you think you have arrived, then mm -hmm. it's finished, Kawen. So, uh, and the passion, you know, if you came into the industry because you have the passion, you love it, Awakiana because your friend was in it and all of that, that thing actually really sustains you. Mm -hmm. It sustains you. And even if you are in a, a, a dark season, because... In this industry, guys, we are freelancers, yeah. you know. For the rest of your life, you're a freelancer. Mm -hmm. There will be times when it's dry. Yeah. But when it's your passion, it's something that you love and something that you think God has wired you that way. Now I, I tell him, mm -hmm. you are my father. You are the one who wired me like this. Mm -hmm. I could have been a nurse. 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 I could have been so can I ask, is that why you you even still working now? Is it the 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 ever like learning, like the idea of the fact that there's so much more you can still learn. Exactly. And okay. you know, the nice thing about it now is that you guys are also coming up in the industry. Mm -hmm. So instead of being jealous, mm -hmm. no, I, I, that's the thing. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because like, remember those days, Tina, there were no drama schools. Everything that I learned, I learned from experience. Mm -hmm. I learned it at work. So, like my child, Utokoskolong wins a drama, Kook fields and all that. There are certain things that she says and I don't know. Then after mm -hmm. that, I go to her books, Kilosha or Rocky. No That's you. You, you are go you're learning from yes your from you your guys child. Mm. yes i learned from you mm. so when i'm working like Gogomora, imagine how many young sure artists are there who just came into the industry they came with a lot of knowledge of things that i don't know sometimes when they are talking i do like to learn more like can take about my mates i'm taking notes i'm listening to the way they think the way yeah. they do things how that was done when they were called rosy, what, 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 I'm listening. So, you know, it's a matter of taking my experience with your knowledge and putting them together and coming up with something special. So I see for you, and I think this is something that we can all learn, what I can learn is that the key to longevity is to always have a teachable spirit. Yes. That's, that's how you've been exactly. able to stay like this. I want to go back to what you said about because I wanted to ask you what were those moments like when it was tough, when the industry mm. was dry, when mm. parts weren't coming, but you answered it and mm. you answered how you dealt with it. And it reminds me of a story from the Bible. Um, I think it was was it Jacob who was wrestling with the angel um to get his blessing? Was it Jacob? I think it might have been Jacob okay. ish, guys. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> but but I but I but I see that in you in the sense that your relationship with God and and it comes from I your do have a relationship. You with honestly God. wrestle with God I to really say do. no. Mm. You put me here. This mm. is the gift that you gave me. Yes, and it's that immense trust and faith that you've put in Him, and it it and I see why you are the way that you are. The humility just pours out mm. of you, and the fact that yes. You do have a teachable spirit. Yes. What I want to know is having all of those, I'm talking about foundationally and the values that you have as a human being, seeing and having also worked with young people in Tangazam, I'm at 2000, mm -hmm. that are now entering into this. And I, I must say, we do come in with this level of entitlement or mm. I think a lot more even from, I guess, the generation that's slightly above mine, there is that thing of superstardom. I walk yes. in like I'm a superstar. Mm, mm. Based off of the values that you have, what lessons or 
yeah, how what lessons would you give to us and say, no, just make sure that you adopt these characteristics to to make sure that you're not only maintaining that longevity, but you're just a good person in this industry. You know, you know what I think, ne? I think I think if it's a God given talent, you wouldn't you wouldn't behave that mm. way. Mm. You know? Remember there are some people who came into the industry because Bafunuba famous. Sure. That's the number one thing. There's nothing wrong with being famous, but how do you use Leo Fame Leo? How do you relate to to people? Yeah. So Minaganing people who behave like that. Actually, do you remember that you didn't make yourself like that? Mm -hmm. You know, someone gave you that talent, and the way you behave, God can take it away from you. Or a guy is a season to how they try forever. Mm -hmm. Because how many people? Uh, there are so many people that started in the industry with me, but some of them, because of that, we don't even see them anymore. Yeah. You know, I, I'm here to serve. That's that's the attitude that I have. Or what I'm doing now for me is serving. Yeah. You know, it's it's like uh, 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 let's yeah. let's let's share the drink. Let's let's share the vessel. Yeah. So I. I know there are people like that. Like I said in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, they, we see them. And sometimes even where we are working, uh, people today are, are cast because of their following and all of that. And those people are not even actors. Mm -hmm. And we can't say anything because yeah. and like you don't know anything and you don't care. Like you don't care for the industry. You just care for fame. Yeah. So what are you going to do with him or her? Because it's not your production house. Yeah. And in the meantime, there are thousands and thousands of kids who have dedicated time mm. and money to go to schools, but we to yeah. And I'm to follow us. And I'm going 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 to I want to, I, I hear something about what you're saying sticks out to me and it resonates to my prior question, which is, you saying we can't say anything, it's their production companies. But what I'm hearing is that you, you've you stuck to your lane. You know what your place is mm. and you know what your role is. Yes. And ultimately it is to serve and mm. to give of yourself. Yeah. And it's so amazing to see that for how many, more than 40 years of your life, you've given your, of yourself, not only to go and portray characters, characters that we know we grow to love and that we learn from via our tv screens and especially the big screen mm -hmm. right <laughs> but you also give of yourself in the sense that we see and we're inspired as young people how it's i just i can't even begin to think about how many careers you've inspired mm -hmm. how many people you have indirectly told that it is possible to do this and yes. even at a later stage in your career mm. went and just changed the world mm. again for all of us yeah. you know first of all i want to say thank you for that for thank being you. giving of yourself and i really want us to just if there's anything that you take away from this i yeah. think for me that's the one of the most profound things mm. now i want to be a, a bit of a cuz i come from a theater background <laughs> you know Go you come from a theater background yes. okay so i want to be a bit of a nerd okay um and and this is something that i'm also borrowing a question from one of my peers so this okay. is this is us asking you <laughs> right what do you put into preparing for your characters because it seems that every time we watch you on tv yes we're watching that character but it's like Yo, um, I'm corny, mm. but we're seeing her in this light. Mm. It's always you. Like you always make the character your own. We, it can't be given to anybody else. Mm. What is it like preparing for the role? Back then? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, most of the roles that we portray, fortunately, are written by South African writers. Mm. So most of the characters, ours, Balai, we've seen them, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I have a brother who from nowhere. 
Like you have a As I'm let's say two, say three. From nowhere, she said, I don't mm. to get my own brother, mm. you know. I, I, I'm very attentive. Now you have a tune. How does men so it's a decision? So, I mean, Silly those people man. will live with them, say, but, but having said that, uh, you also have to do a little bit of that research, you know, understand the characters that you are working with. Or how listen to how do you relate mm. to pretty your child? How do you relate to Bramaiki? Mutwa mm. how you know and uh umo komora, i komora in jani, you go pi abantuba konabanjani, but and you know. Mm. Yeah, you do those little you know ama research now. But to be honest, I wouldn't say it has been very difficult mm. to do that because like I say, most of the characters is characters that we already know. And then uh, added to that is for you to to go to work prepared. O baale script is a house. Kalo soko di sabato. Abantu be prepared le wena figa unga fundanga. You know. Mm -hmm. So that thing je you go to o baale script is a house. You are from theater. You know what discipline means. It means you are there on time. You've read your script. You understand your character. You are ready. As soon as you are on stage or as soon as the cameras roll, mm. you know, yeah. 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 How how would you like to be, how would you like to be remembered? How, especially with your career and everything you've done. I, I, what, what do you see, how do you see people describing you to others that maybe haven't experienced your acting? Hey man, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm normally asked that question. Is and it? I've, I've always said, you know, I think different people have experienced sure. me differently. Mm. So I don't know how I want people to remember me. I just want people to remember me the way they know me. Sure. I can't say, yeah, because I'm so high, because I'm lonely, mm. like a cool mm. or a, uh, no. Okay. Everybody has experienced me in different ways. Mm. So whatever way I have affected you or impacted on you, whether negatively, I hope not, though. No, 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 no. It's very positive. It's very so positive. That's the way. That's the way I think people must. People, I want to my care to na, bafunugun kumbulaganjan because I've not impacted them the same way. Fair. You know, I can't even fight her for saying yeah. that because it's it's like every room that she leaves, it speaks for itself. Mm, mm. Her work speaks mm. for itself, and so. You're right. We'll remember you the way that we experienced you. Mm. And I must say, it will be in a beautiful way. Mm. Thank now, you. Now, what I want to know, and this is this is going to be really interesting to hear from you because, A, you've done so much. And I Mom, I feel like you're going to just come show us. You're going to hit us with another, hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Los Angeles <laughs> big thing. But where does, A, where do you see your career going in mm. the next five years? And B, where do you see your own personal life going in the next five years? You know, I also have a, a business called uh, Ndatopa Kusauka. I registered it in 2005, mm -hmm. where I've, I've been doing uh, theater and film workshops around the country, uh, coordinating AMA events, especially in the United States. Mm -hmm. But I, I decided, you know what, let me... Let me start a, a foundation, which I did three years ago. Mm. So I am happy to announce that I have been doing smaller and little things here and there. But Konamanje, as we speak, mm. uh, today is the what? <clears throat> 29. 29. Yes. Next month on the, on the 29th, I will be in the United States. Mm. I wanted to take 100 women there, uh, young and old, mm -hmm. to to expose them to the market because... We can't just rely on the market to go high. Mm. So I have been doing it before through my business. But that time when I was doing it, I was piggybacking on the existing businesses. So this time, I wanted to take a hundred women in theatre, in music, arts and crafts, cuisine, fashion and all that. Yeah. So unfortunately, I didn't get as much uh, support as I wanted but I am taking about 30 people nice. next month. Kadi 24 rats are born. And I'm hoping that I, I will be able to be supported better for the next three mm. years to go to New Orleans. And the reason I chose New Orleans is because there's also Essence Festival yes. where there will be millions and millions of people who are there. Yeah. 
And essence is specifically mostly for women. Mm. Yes. Mm. So I wanted our women to go and meet women that side and network and see how we can, yeah. you know, how we can work together. But it doesn't end there. My biggest dream, Mena, is to have a South African movie, mm. you know, with a beautiful, you know, the most beautiful story. Samo Hai, Seilong Hore, Setla Rekisa, our industry to the rest of the world. Yeah. That's my biggest dream. My second dream is for South Africa to one day have a union, like the union Sakobo Equity, yeah. both SEG, AFTRA in yeah. America, yeah. who will be able to fight the battles of, of our technicians and our actors. Mm -hmm. Not for actors to fight for themselves, like the union that I used to be in mm -hmm. called Power. Yeah. Rona, on our own as actors, we used to be a union and it cannot be like be that like that that yeah. i am a an activist a unionist then tomorrow i'm, I'm going to you a production house close ones then kausa nikitla mo wena ha pikitlo audition mo for a job exactly so recently i met us our our incoming minister and he asked me rutina what is it that we can do for the industry i said there are a lot of things that you can do for the industry but one of them is to help us establish a good union that will protect us. And Nikitila Khore, she was going to come with her. Yes, exactly. You see, and now she came with <laughs> three. <laughs> with three. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. You're taking 30 women in the next... This is now. This Next is month. Next month. 24 mm -hmm. wow. 30 women to the United States yes, of America. Yes. And then on top of that, you want to change the industry more than you have already with mm -hmm. this union to... You know, and number two was, um, what was the second one? Let's see if you were listening. Don't try to be like that. Me, I'm <laughs> listening to you right now. <laughs> yeah, hey, man, what was number two? Number two has just ran away from It's me. the movies. The movie. Yeah. Yes. And something that is owned by South Africans. Yes. Not yes. by a multinational. Yes. That comes our and story it. by our people, mm. by our people. Mm -hmm. mm. I just, I'm scared to even ask what's going to happen in the five years after that. Because after that, it's just going to be more and Just more pray and for more. me to live long. I know, no, you don't go you anywhere, Mom Connie, <laughs> please. Mom Connie, can I please just say something? This you is an absolute anyway. side note. You haven't changed from me watching you on ETV mm. when I was, and that's Mamo when Kitt, I still had the, the, yes. the Mamo Kitty role. <laughs> and I didn't grow up watching a TV, like, I think... I stopped watching TV at home because they got rid of the TV. Go higher. That's another story. <laughs> when I was about 12 years old. So that was like, what, more than 10 years ago. Mm. You have not changed. <laughs> wow. Thank you. And so you will keep going. Mm -hmm. God willing, you will keep going. I receive. But for 120 years. Exactly. I receive. So a healthy now. one, though. <laughs> Before we say goodbye, Mam Kwadi, um, for the people who are listening uh, right now, the young South Africans who want to get into the industry and maybe even not in the industry, just who are, who want to work, you know, who mm. want to build something much like you did here in South Africa. What message of strength do you have to them to, to keep going? I would say, you know, each and every one of us, there's a particular way that you've been wired. Ne? Mm -hmm. There's a gift that you have because all of us have a mandate. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't found it, just try and see or now what is it that makes you spend sleepless nights yeah. when you are thinking about it. Mm -hmm. That thing that makes you have sleepless nights, that's mm -hmm. what you must do. Mm -hmm. And along the way, uh, like there are certain routes that when you take, you are going to walk on thorns. Yeah. That's, that's life. Mm -hmm. That's how it is. There's no way you can, you can avoid it. Mm -hmm. So, but there's a light there mm -hmm. in front. How are you born a light? You just keep on walking. Yeah. Keep on walking. And if you are somebody who who has faith in whatever power that you have. Like, I take my strength from God. I asked him, I know that I'm going to rise. Mm, mm. It's, it's just, you know, going for your dreams. And people sometimes think it's easy, and it's not easy. And because most of the time we see people when they have already achieved. Yes. We don't see them when they are working. How much say, I achieve morning and we say, who mm. but You don't know in the 45 years what I have experienced. You don't know. Mm. It has been hard sometimes. It has been exciting sometimes. It has been good sometimes. It has been disappointing. But one keeps walking. Mm. Oh, I love that. Keep walking. 
So would you know what State of the Strong is about? <laughs> it's about her now. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Ma koni u last number waiti. U last number. And thank you so much for A giving us your time, allowing us to speak because Yes, okay, yeah, I'm doing my job, ne? I'm co-hosting this mm. show, but I learned so much and there's so many gems that I can take from this and I can't wait to go and watch this specific episode so that I can go back mm. and learn even further. Yeah, we, yeah, we, notebooks, yes, notebooks, please, please. please. Yeah. So thank you so much. And I honestly believe that if I had this experience sitting next to you, this is going to be something extremely valuable to everybody that is either listening to State of the Strong yeah. Thank via you. podcast streaming services or you know watching us you guys if you were listening you have to go back and watch you, you the actual watch. youtube yeah. video because i feel like it's it's not the same yeah. you yeah. know yeah. so thank you so much for coming through thank you so much for gracing us with your presence mm. and your wisdom mm. beyond knowledge your wisdom mm. thank you I so much i appreciate it and thank you for showing us what strength is yeah. 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 is a chance yes the opportunity of ah. of uh, sharing mm. guys you are the ones in his tembenina, everything is mm. is in your hands. We ask most most into na kavukana king sport sales and over the bat. Yeah, yes. the yes. 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 yes, yes, It's a river. Yes, yes. So that's how it is, mm. you know. And it it makes me happy to be able to to come yeah. to such places and share my knowledge, my experience, mm. and hoping that at least it has planted a seed mm. somewhere. Oh, no, it's going to become an oak tree. It's already in our brains. It's already <laughs> moving. Uh, wow, what an amazing episode. Did I? Amazing as usual. Never miss a day in your life. Thank you so much. We cannot wait for the next episode. If, like Lirai was saying, you listened on Spotify, that is amazing. But we also need you to go watch on YouTube because, wow, what an episode. Thanks we'll see you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> My fellow South Africans. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was mm -hmm. The State of the Strong, a bull brand podcast. Chef Kabza, you are here to deliver Mom Connie's prize wow. for getting the most. Eh? Oh, wow. The this is the prize. <laughs> Please tell us what we're about to eat. Sir. Uh, so, this is a uh, bull brand puff, stuffed pe puff pastries. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Say nothing else. We are inside. Thank yes, you very much, Chef Kabza. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Okay. Mom Connie. Merci. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Please, where you be? Le, le pâtisserie. Hey. Hey. Who's <laughs> really? Hey, it's a friend, Hey. Let me grab this friend. Thank wow. you very much. Mm. Okay, here we go. First taste. Yep. This looks amazing. It does. Okay. Mm, God. <laughs> mm. Gus French, how do you mm. say this is nice? It's a ball. C'est très magnifique. Mm-hmm. Me, I can't say these things. I am but what I will say is that this tastes amazing. Sukhu is my, my best language, so <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for recipes like this or anything like this, go to bullbrand.co.za forward slash recipe. Like I always say, you will not be disappointed. I mm. know. I'm a witness. Are you happy with your prize, Mamkun? Very. Yeah. <laughs>